All right, so I have another iCloud locked board here, which I'm going to remove both layers from um, using the PPD120 uh, preheater. And I have it set to 130. Ooh, it's really hot. It gets really hot, man. Anyways, I have it set to 130 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to kind of lock it down a little bit, clamp this mother down. Maybe if I can figure out how to do it. Okay. And then, so I, I, I think I can probably just pop the top layer off without really having to do anything, really. Meaning, like, I think I can probably just, like, lift this up when it gets hot enough. So, let's see. So it's 130 degrees Celsius, and I'm not going to do anything to it. Let's see if it pops off or not. Maybe I will kind of blast it a little bit. I'll just kind of step back on a little bit. There you go. It's really easy to get off, actually. So I'm I'm at 416, but I'm like really backing off of this. So okay, so that's that was really easy. 130 degrees Celsius and uh, 130 degrees Celsius and boom, it's like it's off. And then a little bit of hot air and you're you're in business. So this this is low melt for sure. And everything looks great on it. I mean. Yeah, just look at the yeah, look at it. I mean, no no torn pads or anything and it's still like kind of shiny actually because it's still really hot. So And then this is the the inside layer which um I don't think we're going to have any problems with. Yeah, yep. I don't see any like I don't see anything wrong with this. I'm pretty sure we sandwiched it together right now and popped it in in, in good shape. Okay. So now let's see if we can get the, the the bottom ring off. And I think I did it at 130 degrees the last time, uh, but I think I'm gonna bump it up to about 140, and then I'm also gonna use like some hot air, and let's see. So 140 degrees Celsius, and it doesn't budge really. So let's go to 145. Let's see if it works at all. Nothing. So I'm just going to add a little bit of heat like I did earlier. And last time I kind of jacked up this chip right here. So I think I'm going to see if I can kind of do it near the Wi Fi chip here. Or maybe towards the middle. And then I'm just going to direct. I'm going to hold my tip a little bit further than I normally hold it. And see if I can get my tweezer in between there. And then I'll put my. I'll put it a little bit closer as we. Uh, as we go okay there we go Okay, so that seems like that's probably the magic solution. 100, 150 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm actually going to turn 145. Sorry, 100. I'm going to turn it down right now because I don't want this sucking to melt. Okay, let's take a look at under logic under the microscope. So I just want to make sure that you know none of the chips have moved or anything like that, or like there's not excess beads of solder or anything like that. <sighs> All right, looks pretty good. Everything looks like it's intact. It was really, you know, I don't see beads of solder popping out anywhere or anything like that. I didn't use Capton or anything. 
and there aren't really any, there aren't any miss well hold on there's one missing pad right here but I'm gonna say that's probably NC um, let's double check though okay so this is the missing pad right here that I see and then let's see there's a chip here chip here and a coil here so let's see, let's see if we can identify it and then there's a big hole right there alright so I think it's this right here I think it's this hole with this coil uh, this chip and this shine cut up one two three actually this is a different version of the IC this is a different version of the board but one two one two I'm gonna guess that is probably that one, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, so that's NC. Okay, so that was good. I mean, no, no, yeah. I think this is it. I think, I think I might be ready to to get moving here. Um, I think I'm ready to get booking on a real one, and hopefully we can mess it up as well. Okay. So I think that's it. I think um, one thirty and then one forty-five. I think that'll that's what I'm gonna use to get my uh separate the boards. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this channel and I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um we have it hosted at udemy.com and it's at this point it's four hours of video instruction. Um the reviews are pretty good. Um and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone logic board um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station your micro soldering um, station and how to use diode mode uh, the third part is the three most common repairs which is no touch no backlight no charge and the fourth part is all about data recovery so um, if you go through our website it's a hundred bucks and some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things or you can't learn micro soldering online I beg to differ um, I don't know about you guys but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago and that's how I learned it um, and not only that but you know you go to a live course some people like live courses but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course right so um, and then yes you're right you can go to YouTube and watch all these videos um, but you're not gonna when people make these videos they don't go from A to Z they usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watch something earlier on or one of their earlier videos so this course is all-encompassing it has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro soldering and we are adding stuff um, on a weekly maybe monthly basis and we're, we're gonna just gonna keep adding to this thing and um, so if you want to get started just I mean you can also take a class but uh, you know to get your feet wet I think this is the best thing to do right here and I vouch for it. Um, thanks for watching the video. I was also going to say, um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy at Udemy, and that'll give you the $50 off. Thanks.